need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Found it. Reach out your left hand and see if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. and look what I found. A meta, only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta-human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta-human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Yes. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The reason... See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful, and safer to be around. The 
butterfly has recovered. I think it likes you. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading. That must be a siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you.
This siren. So strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Escaped. That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it's You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you saved me. Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the fist. Do you think that deviation will come back? It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Mitsuko is too important. The Great Ones would descend on her the second she set foot in the physical. We encountered some trouble earlier, and that's why Mitsuko is hiding here. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. When the stardust is... It looks like this is... Before you... Good luck, Meta. that 20 years after starfall and the world is still infested with stardust it looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too they might hold the key to all the stardust pollution Let's set up a territory. <laughs> 